Hello friends, this is Deepak Sharma from Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube and this is the continuation of my previous lecture on top 10 mechanical engineering interview questions and its answers. Okay, and I have already discussed my first 5 important mechanical engineering questions in my previous videos. Okay, and in this lecture I will discuss next 5 questions of mechanical engineering interview questions and its answers okay so next question in this list is what is inversion point okay so inversion point is a point inversion point inversion point so inversion point is a point at which the value of joule kelvin coefficient joule kelvin expansion coefficient this is, this is basically joule kelvin expansion coefficient okay inversion point is a point at which the value of joule kelvin expansion coefficient will be zero or value of del t by del p at constant enthalpy will be zero i have i have described this tp uh, diagram in my previous lecture that this is the inversion inversion curve and along this line we will get inversion point and along every point of this line we will get mu z is equal to 0 that is value of joule kelvin expansion coefficient is 0 or del t by del p at constant enthalpy is 0 because these line these red color lines these red color lines represents isn enthalpic this means h is equal to constant line okay and one thing i have forgot uh, forgot to mention in my previous lecture that if so suppose I am taking these two points this is point 1 and this is point 2 whether we move from point 1 to 2 or from point 2 from point 2 to 1 the temperature of gas neither increase nor decrease you must keep in mind temperature of gas temperature of gas neither increase neither increase nor decrease ok so this is the answer of my sixth question in this list let's move to next question next question is what is the what is the enthalpy of vaporization at critical point what is the enthalpy of vaporization at critical point so let me draw it by a diagram so this is the critical point you keep in mind that the value of enthalpy of vaporization enthalpy enthalpy of vaporization the value of enthalpy of vaporization at critical point will be zero you keep in mind okay and next question is why pressure line within vapor dome in hs diagram are linear and why the slope of the line increases with increase in values of pressure okay so this is very important question you must know it very properly ok so let me answer it so the question is why the pressure line are linear in HS diagram and why the slope of the line increases with increase in the value of pressure ok so let me this is our HS diagram this y axis represents H enthalpy and the x axis represents entropy S ok this is entropy this is enthalpy and if we draw the property diagram in HS, HS plane then we will go and get such, ki such kinds of curve ok so let me draw the pressure line and I will tell you why it is diverging in nature if we draw uh, why, the diver uh, why the constant pressure line are diverging in nature in HS plane ok so let me draw it so see these two lines are diverging in nature first and foremost thing that you must know uh, first answer is this is a linear line why this is linear line because within vapor dome because within vapor dome phase changes take place phase changes take place and during phase change suppose at a particular temperature at a constant temperature and at a particular pressure phase changes take place that particular pressure is known as saturation pressure or at a constant pressure 
and uh, at a particular temperature phase changes take place and that particular temperature is known as saturation temperature okay so along this line pressure and temperature is constant okay pressure and temperature is remain constant that's why uh, <coughs> this is a linear line and second question is why the slope of the line increases with increase in the value of pressure so see these two lines are diverging in nature so let me uh, discuss it in a, another way we know uh, q is equal to u plus pv we know it so dq is equal to du plus pdv plus v del p okay and du plus p del v is equal to uh, dh okay plus v del p and dq is equal to can be written as tds from second law of thermodynamics and u plus uh, du plus p del v is equal to dh we know h per hour uh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This is wrong way of getting answer of this question. I'm so sorry. I will explain it in other way. So for getting of this, uh, for getting the answer of this question, so why the slope of line increases with increase in value of pressure, or why it is diverging in nature? Let me tell you in this way: h over u plus p v we know from basic thermodynamics okay let me uh, make derivative uh, make uh, mix deriv derivative to it then dh over du plus p del v plus v del p okay du plus p del v plus v del p okay so dh is equal to du now, du plus p del v this term from first law of thermodynamics is dq okay so this is a small dq plus v del p v del p so at constant pressure if you take the pressure constant p is equal to c pressure constant then this term will be 0 v del p because this is dp is a change of pressure so here dq dh is equal to what dq dh is equal to dq and dq is from uh, second law of thermodynamics you know dq is equal to tds okay so dh by ds at constant pressure represents temperature so the slope of hs plane represents the temperature i have proved it okay i have proved it that slope of the temperature slope of the hs plane represents the temperature okay so if the slope of the ta hs plane represents the temperature that's mean from this point and this point represents the value of saturation temperature this point saturation temperature and this point also represents saturation temperature saturation temperature these two points represents different two different saturation temperature and this is obvious that the saturation temperature of point which is lying above a certain point will be higher that's why this is diverging in nature okay now it is very clear let's move to next question so next question question number nine in this list is what will be the value of dryness fraction at critical point and next question question number 10 is distinguish between liquid and vapor state beyond critical point okay so do uh, okay so these two questions are very important so let me answer it i am drawing a property diagram in pv plane pv plane pressure and volume plane okay so then this is three this is triple point line and this is, this is critical point as we know as we know let's see question what will you, what will be the dryness fraction at critical point this is a critical point and this this i have already told you that this line has dryness fraction 0 and this line has dryness fraction 1 so if we draw a line like this if we draw a line like this then this will be 0 0.1 0 0.2 and like so on 0 0.8 0 0.9 okay so these different lines represent this is 0 0.5 these different lines this line this line this line this each and every line has different value of dryness fraction and from diagram it is very clear that all these lines are emerging from a critical point 
So from property, from diagram, we can easily say that dryness fraction at critical point is undefined. That is x at CP is undefined. Undefined. Okay, and next question is distinguish between liquid and vapor state beyond the critical point. That's mean in this region. In this region, we have to because this is a critical point and this this region represents these regions represents beyond critical point. Okay, this region represents beyond critical point. We we will have to distinguish between liquid and vapor states beyond KCP. So we have to keep in mind that beyond CP we can't beyond CP we can't distinguish we can't distinguish between we can't distinguish between liquid and vapor. Okay, liquid and vapor phase. We can't distinguish between liquid and vapor phase beyond critical point. So the I have answered all these. 10 questions of top mechanical engineering interview questions no, top mechanical engineering questions and <coughs> sorry and in my next lecture I will again make top 10 mechanical engineering interview question and its answer on another, uh, on, on another subject that may be turbo machinery or fluid mechanics till now thank you and goodbye and please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is Funda of Mechanical Engineering and thank you viewers.